I recall a wedding without a joke where the nikah was done and they had the walima and the function was full of sin. May Allah forgive us really. You know, I have mentioned in the past that those who have functions of sin, when it comes to their nikah, they pay for it some, somewhere down their lives unless they have engaged in Tawbah. So sometimes, you know, people say, look, I had the wrong function when I was getting married. We had music, we had intermingling, we brought in dancers, we had so much. It was just a party. Some of them had alcohol, some of, and it's a celebration, subhanallah, of a, a great segment of your Iman, subhanallah. So they say, now I'm worried. I say there is a way out. It's never too late. Even though your marriage was 30 years back, 40 years back, some people are paying in the form of their children disobeying them because the day they tied the knot, they disobeyed Allah. So now they say, why is my child so disobedient? And I go back and say, brother, the day you got married, was there a big ball where people were dancing and Allah was, you know, forgotten. And they look at you and say, what do I do? Now my children are forgetting me. They don't want to know me. But brother, you went wrong. The day you were getting married, if you did it correctly, you listen to Allah. Allah will give you children who will listen to you. Simple. So now what's the solution? We already did it wrong 30 years ago, 20 years ago. I need a solution. Allah's love for us is such that there is a solution. What is the solution? Oh Allah, when I got married, I did it wrong. Forgive me, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, forgive me. Ya Allah, grant me forgiveness and open my doors. And Allah says, my worshiper, my creature, I love you so much. At least now you've realized what you did was wrong. I forgive you. Subhanallah. You can make amends. Don't lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Something I did that was wrong in the past. It, me, it requires me to understand that Allah's mercy is greater than my sin. Definitely. Allah's mercy is greater than any sin. Subhanallah. It, it is only if a person dies in the condition of shirk and association of partnership with Allah that they need to be worried. Otherwise, we have a Rabb, we have a Lord who is most forgiving for as long as we try, we try. You know, you can't have a youngster coming to you and saying, okay, so I'm on drugs, but I just heard Allah is most forgiving. Allah's mercy is bigger than my drug. No, don't fool yourself. Perhaps technically you are correct, but you are tempering with the wrath of Allah, with the anger of Allah. This is something we need to understand. 